So I've been playing around for a few weeks with the, uh, or a few months really, with the George Van Epps book one really. Um, we've seemed mostly concerned with... <laughs> in a fairly legato way, which is mostly... That's really hard position things like that, <laughs> which is just uh, horrible. No, I don't just do it like that, I don't know. But anyway, George Van Epps has some very interesting fingerings. In so I'll tend to do things like that instead of going. The reason is, is that it's just a bit more legato and a bit more joined up. It's very hard to get. So I mean, I've been doing some of the specific exercises, but I've also been working on kind of doing my own thing, which is basically taking these three note voicings and trying to play them through standards. So I mean, I'll give you an example of what I might get up to on a, you know, a sort of simple one six two five sort of thing. So I mean, what I'm finding is that the uh, the kind of logic of it is fairly straightforward. The all this stuff. That's all fine, you know, and you can do it with finger picking as well. to get it legato I think that's that's a real you know let alone sort of adding in voice movement in other in other registers I mean it's a lovely style to play in but I always notice when I listen back to it it's never quite as legato as I think it is and I think that's the um, that's the the real uh, difficulty of this style It's trying to get as well into this sort of thing of trying to sort of um, uh, you know you don't want to stay stick around for too long so you want to changing each chord on each beat if you can. I mean, it seems to me that essentially the whole idea of the technique is to simulate playing um, straight fours, you know, where you go around the clock or whatever uh, with
you know, uh, it's kind of a funny technique. It's it's not like the Martin Taylor approach, which is fundamentally contrafrontal, and it's not like um, the Joe Pass approach, which is like juggling. You know, he's got like bass lines and single note lines and chords, and he's juggling them. And Martin Taylor approach is tends to be quite composed. He doesn't improvise much. Whereas I think you can improvise with this block chord style. <laughs> Obviously, sort of things to try and work out some melodies using these chords. So you know, they got a choice whether you want to reattack each chord with each. Uh, you know, this could be. So you're playing a chord, and then if there's a note on the offbeat, you hit the. Uh, you hit the note on its own, you don't play the whole chord, otherwise you get, um, that's a different style. So that's something I struggle with, my tendency is just to play everything at the same time with the pick, or even with my fingers, so. Oops, let's try that again. same time then you resolve it. It's like an appoggiatura in classical terms. And that's tricky. Yeah, yeah. Actually it's that one same. And progress but um, I think it's a really nice style to muck around with. Uh, you have to know uh, all your triad voicings you know in different positions um, got that, that one on top top strings and be able to move between them with scale tones which I think is very good training anyway They're like it's good to know where your triads are basically Idea. So um, I think it's a great style. It's a bit. It's, it's considered to be a bit scary uh, this style of playing, but I think it's just good to muck around with uh, for your chords and everything else.